Hello and welcome to SFF Book Rex. I'm Marie and uh, this is uh, the video for June TBR. So what I'll be reading on June. Uh, I'm participating in a readathon called Olympics Readathon. It's hosted by Shelf Space uh, Discord, which is free for everyone to uh, to join. So, unfortunately, the sign up for the <laughs> readathon um, has closed, like because it's a team effort. So, so the teams have been determined, but that doesn't stop you from from joining us and um, like reading reading along us doing the prompts and uh, joining the fun on the Discord. So, Olympics Readathon, it's based on Greek mythology. And there are 16 different prompts based on uh, on the 12 Olympians, Olympian gods and four others. And each team um, is named after one of the gods. And uh, they get extra points when they fulfill the prompt of their own own team. My team is Team Dionysus. Yay! Go team! And um, our prompt is to read um, read a book with either a white or red cover, because Dionysus is the god of wine, wine and revelry. So. Um, so, red or white wine. I'm going to be reading for this book, for this prompt, a book called um, Game of Kings by Dorothy Dunette. It's actually not a fantasy book, it's a historical fiction and um, it follows the adventures of a somewhat disreputable uh, nobleman called Limonde in, um, in 16th century Scotland and other other uh, places in Europe. He is a bit of a scoundrel, or at least that's the reputation he has. And he was exiled from Scotland, and now he is returning there, get, getting back there. And um, well, he gets embroiled in a in a lot of um, political intrigue. So yeah. Really looking forward to this. I've been wanting to read this for for years, ever since hearing about it. Um, it has inspired a lot of writers. Um, for example, Ellen Kushner, who wrote Sword, Sword Point, which is um, like the first book in manner, fantasy of manners. She was inspired by him, uh, uh, or her, Dorothy Dunnett, and uh, also uh, Lee Bardugo of Shadow and Bone fame, who just got a Netflix, sh ne a Netflix show, as as you you probably know. But yeah, she cites also Dorothy Dunnett as one of her writerly inspirations. Okay, but that was the Dionysus prompt. Next, I have little notes here. Next, we have Aphrodite, the god of love, and her, um, her prompt is to read a book with a beautiful cover. Okay, my computer <laughs> just died. So, my, my prompt for this is, okay, the computer is not open, so, um, but I will put the, the title and the cover there. Uh, this is... Um, a sci-fi book. It's it's a short one. This is going to be one of my like quick reads because there are 16 prompts and 16 books to read. Um, I mean you don't have to read every every prompt but I'm going to challenge myself and try to do so. But uh, for Aphrodite uh, I'm reading uh, SFF um, romance I guess yeah, it's a romance. Um, the main character, she's a mechanic, and um, and she follows the captain of the ship, who's a woman, because well, June is the Pride Month, so so I want to read some some books related 
to our or with LGBTQ plus characters this month. Just a moment, and I'm firing up the computer. But yeah, that was Aphrodite. And then we have Apollo, the god of sun, music, and prophecies. So like Pythia of uh, Delphoi was was one of his oracles. And uh, for Apollo, the prompt is to read uh, like a non-traditional story. So something else than novel. It can be um, like a audiobook, can be comic, web comic, some kind of mixed media product. For this one, I'm going to be reading or continuing Saga, which is uh, a really excellent sci-fi comic series. Uh, this is also sci-fi, uh, but but it feels more like space opera, almost like fantasy feel, because we we see so many different kind of creatures and um, this main couple, Marco and Alana, they're on the run because they're um, they're from different species, alien species, who are at war. And um, basically, their nations are spreading a lot of propaganda about the other species. And it's not okay for, for intermarriage, especially to have a baby, um, because they are spreading propaganda that, that these two species can't get viable, viable babies together. So basically, uh, their own governments are after them, and they have hired hired bounty hunters um, to hunt them too. Also, there are other people after them, like Marco's parents and Marco's um, ex fiance So, yeah, lots of uh, lots of funny things going on there. But yeah, that's uh, that's Apollo. And then, moving on to Ares. Ares is the god of war. So his prompt is to read an SFF book featuring, um, featuring military. So it doesn't have to be like soldiers, but, but it should have some kind of battles or, or um, something very action-y. So, for this one, I'm reading Lore by Alexandra Bracken. This is very on theme because uh, this book is about, about Greek gods. Um, they, like being a god isn't, isn't a steady position, but uh, it's a title. So every seven years, there's this kind of a battle and uh, <laughs> basically, a battle to death and if if someone else manages to take down a god then they get that title and those powers and the main character lore her her family entire family died during the last last of these i think it, it's called aegon during last aegon and she wants to have nothing to do with this anymore because she has already lost everything, but she lives in New York, and lo and behold, the next Aegon is held in New York. So she's in the middle of events again. So that's I'm really looking forward to that book. It sounds sounds super interesting. So that was Ares. Then we have Artemis, who is the god of moon. And hunting she's a virgin goddess and her prompt is to um, to have a book with either words moon or night on the title or somehow featured in the cover of the book and for this one now I have to check I don't remember off my head which book I chose for this one? Okay, I chose for this one Amari 
and the Knight Brothers, which is a really, really cute uh, middle grade book that I've heard so much, um, so many good things about. Like no one who, who's been talking about it hasn't disliked it. So this will be a, a bit of a light affair because <laughs> when you're reading 16 books, mm, if it's all like epic fantasy, you're gonna get uh, exhausted. So this is a, this is a wonderful little palette cleanser in the middle. Um, Amari, she's um, her brother has gone missing, and she finds in his room in his closet. He has left some items behind for her to help her find him, and um, and then um, apparently there's some kind of. Um, like spy, spy agency or something, but there, Amari finds out that supernatural things exist, and and um, she goes there to find her brother. So yeah, sounds really cute. Okay, that was Artemis. Then we have Athena. Athena was god of wisdom, strategy, uh, and strategy, and um, she's um, her prompt is Political Intrigue, a book with political intrigue. And for this one, I've chosen um, actually a book I pre-ordered, which is continuing an urban fantasy series that I've been reading for years. This is book uh, 16 that's coming out. Um, and the series is called Elantra Chronicles by Michelle Sagara. And uh, this book is called well, this particular book is called Cast in Conflict. I won't be talking so much about this specific book because that would contain spoilers, but um, I will tell you the premise of the first book. So if you're intrigued and want to start reading, well, start with that one. So um, Elantra, Elantra Chronicles are urban fantasy set in a high fantasy setting. And the main character, Kaylin, She's a beat cop in a big fantasy city and um, this world has um, five different um, fantasy species beside humans. There are immortal dragons, uh, elf, vampire-like uh, immortal Barani, there are uh, psychic Dalani, aerials who are like hawk people, and there are Leontines, who are like big lion people, cat people. And um, basically, as we progress in the series, we get to know each of the culture a little deeper. Basically, uh, each of the first uh, books in the series, they delve deeper, starting from book two, they delve deeper in, into one of these different species and their cultures. So. It's very gradual world building. Very, it eases you in, like <laughs> doesn't info dump everything at the same time. But in the first book, Kaylin, um, when she was a child, she lived in the slums of the city, and um, this kind of mystical tattoos um, appeared on her skin, and no one knows quite what they mean. But uh, other children who got this kind of tattoos were, well, kidnapped and never seen again. But Kaylin, Kaylin survived the summer how, and um, she, she left the slums and joined apprenticed uh, to the police. And she's now a private, like the lowest rank, basically a beat cop. And uh, now uh, similar kind of tattoos are appearing again in in the slums and she and her partners are uh, going to investigate so yeah love this series it's it's really great feels very urban fantasy but in a high fantasy setting with all these unique fantasy fantasy species so so it's kind of like urban fantasy but but with a really unique twist okay but that was my Athena. Then we have Demeter. 
who was the god of agriculture, grain and harvest. And uh, her prompt is to read a book with uh, food on cover. For this one, I'm also going for a little lighter, uh, lighter read. Um, I'm going with, um, with Well Met by Jen De Luca, which is a contemporary romance. Uh, the main characters, they work, uh, work in a renaissance fair. So, so that, <laughs> the setting sounds really interesting. And uh, basically they, they kind of start off on a bit wrong foot. So there's a bit of um, like dislike to lovers. So lots of, lots of cute tropes there. But that was Demeter. Then there's Eos, the god of goddess of dawn. And for this, um, this is paired with Nyx, the goddess of night. And uh, the prompts for these goddesses um, is to read uh, the first book in a duology or trilogy. And for Nyx, it's to read the last book of a duology or a trilogy. Unfortunately, I don't have any series ongoing at the moment which are like ending or have ended so that I could read read the second book or the last book um, for at this time. Uh, so basically I'm gonna start a new duology and read the first and second books during this readathon. And for this one I picked um, uh, wait a minute, okay. Now I have to. Dread Nation by Justina Ireland. This is um, set to our world, but it's kind of historical uh, fantasy with a twist. So during Civil War America, um, the sides had to commit, like make peace with each other because uh, a zombie ap apocalypse broke out. So dead soldiers started rising up and brains. So yeah, uh, the war ended and, um, and the US government started training um, girls of color to hunt the zombies. So that's, that's where the story starts. Really, really interesting premise. And again, I've been wanting to read these books for a while. So now this is finally the kick in the ass that I need to do that. So that was Eos and Nyx. And then prompt number 10 is Hades. Hades is the god of the underworld and the dead. And this prompt is, um, is to do um, something, read a book related to undead. So like vampires, zombies, ghosts, anything, anything goes. And for this one, I'm reading uh, again, um, LGBTQ+, a book with LGBTQ+, main character. This is called uh, Iron and Velvet by Alexis Hall and it's the first book in Kate Kane uh, private investigator series. This is traditional urban fantasy, so it's set in a modern day world. And the main character is a PI who's investigating the death of a werewolf. And during her investigation, she encounters a vampire prince who is like really hot and everything, but she's, uh, she's bisexual. She has had previously relationships with women. Um, in the in the title or, or in the cover blurb, it says that she has a few principles like not getting drunk um, before noon, not getting involved with a client. But uh, she broke her she broke her principles and uh, got in trouble. So I I assume that the ex also might make an appearance. So that is my Hades. And then prompt number 11, and wow, I've been 
talking a long time already, but we're almost there, almost there. Hephaestus, the god of um, fire, uh, smithing, and craft, crafts, craftsmanship, um, his prompt is to read a book with the uh, word fire, or smoke, or flames, or something like that in the title, or to have that in the cover somehow. And for this one, now I have to check, just a moment. For this I'm reading uh, Smoke and Summers by Charlie uh, N. Holmberg. This is a self-published book and uh, I think it's urban fantasy and has to do with demons, I think. Uh, this is, um, well, this was recommended in the, uh, in the, um, there's kind of a document gathering recommendations for uh, by the organizers of the readathon so I put it there and it sounded really interesting and and Charlie Holmberg uh, he's one of the authors who have been picked up by the Amazon um, like publishing line so basically you see his books promote a lot if you check out the Kindle deals so I've never read any of his books this will be the first one and it sounds really interesting okay that was Hephaestus. Then we have prompt number 12, Hera, the god, uh, the queen of gods. And her prompt is to read a book with queendom or matriarchy. And for this one, I'm reading um, Maria Davana Headley's uh, Queen of Kings, where the main character is Cleopatra, who turns into a vampire. Yeah, really unique premise. So, uh, this also, if you wanted to use this book, you could use it for the Hades prompt because vampires are undead. But yeah, really looking forward to this. And Maria Davana Headley, she's uh, the lady who translated the new, tra made the new translation of Beowulf. Um, and she made it like a bro translation. So it's kind of like, more modern language than than old old fashioned poetry okay but that was my Hera prompt then next we have Hermes who is the god of um, god of uh, thieves merchants and traveling and for this the prompt is to read a book with a travel quest or a vacation and uh, for this one, I'm reading one of the books I've pre-ordered this month, which is called Questland by Carrie Vaughan. And this has a really pretty cover, putting it up there, because I'm reading it on uh, as an ebook. And um, yeah, this is um, a story set to modern day world. And the main character is um, Addie, Addie Cox who's a literature profit professor and she gets an um, interesting offer from a billionaire who offers, uh, who <laughs> offers to pay her a lot to come with this kind of military group to um, this kind of island this billionaire owns where he had this kind of um, um, experiment going on he was building building um, basically he was building the west world except that it was D&D themed and more like virtual reality so basically in this one you could role play or live role play being an adventurer and having magical powers and the, um, the lead designer and programmer there has taken over the island and um, well now they need to liberate the island and why Addy comes in is because this uh, programmer uh, is her ex-boyfriend so maybe they hope that personal connection helps somehow sounds really intriguing so that was the Hermes prompt and then Hestia the goddess of home and hearth and um, 
and uh, her prompt is to read about found family. And let's see which one I have for this. Ah, this is the third of my pre-orders for this month. Also continuing a long, long, long urban fantasy series called The Hollows by Kim Harrison. And the book is called, the book that's coming out now, is called The Million Dollar Demon. And it's book 15 of the series. So again, if you're, you're interested, don't start with this, but start with book one. And um, in this series, Rachel is a witch. And um, in this world, uh, magic and urban fantasy critters, they're, they're out in the open. Uh, there are also vampires, werewolves, uh, demons, elves and pixies. Uh, Rachel's partner, Jenks, really, really funny side character. He's like, yee hi, a little Tinkerbell kind of person, except a lot more full mouthed. He's a, he has a potty mouth. And um, um, Rachel, Jenks and their friend Ivy, who is a vampire, they, they are running a PI company together. Uh, they they found it in the first book and also become a roommates because in a house because Yeah, entrepreneurs Not made of money So that is my Hestia prompt and then for Poseidon prompt um, I'm gonna be reading Actually Ah, right. I had Poseidon um, the Questland um, slotted for Poseidon prompt because, well, it's on an island, they have to go there by boat. Mm, and for Hermes, uh, I have I have uh, a book called Tales of Verania by T.J. Klune, which again has LGBTQ plus uh, main character. He's gay. And uh, T.J. Klune wrote one of my <laughs> favorite books of last year. Uh, called the house in the cerulean sea and it it's like it's like a warm hog or a pixar movie in book form and um and um i'm really hoping that this one will be as fun and lovely it sounds sounds really <laughs> like lighthearted and ha like it has good good um humor in it basically in in this one the main character is the apprentice for the court wizard, like King's King's personal wizard, and um, and he has a unicorn body, and uh, and this kind of a new knight comes comes to court, and he's really hot, and Sam, the main character, falls for him, but unfortunately, he has the hearts for the annoying prince, who's who's a real prick, uh, but this prince gets uh, kidnapped by a dragon. So on a quest they go, Hermes prompt, and uh, they go to save him. But yeah, that was Poseidon and, well, Hermes at the same time. And yay, we're on the last one, 16 Zeus. Uh, this is kind of mirrors Hera. Uh, Zeus is the king, uh, like the king of gods. Uh, of the Greek gods, and he's he's the one with the with the lightning and thunder, and he's the sky god, and also a huge womanizer. Yeah, not a not a very nice character there, but yeah, for for this one, I'm also reading a bit lighter book. I'm reading uh, Percy, no Rick Riordan's. Uh, new series which is which is a spin-off of, of, of Percy Jackson series which has Greek gods. This is um, called The Hidden Oracle and it's it's Tales of Apollo. So Zeus features in this book. He gets uh, pissed off at his son Apollo the sun god and throws him um, down from Olympus to mortal world. So he becomes a mortal, and um, yeah, trouble ensues. 
So I've read um, I read the Magnus Chase series, which is about Norse mythology, and uh, and it's it's been really fun, like really fast paced, paced and fun. So this is one of my palette cleanser books, one of the quicker ones. But yeah, really looking forward to that. Okay, but there. Those were the 16 books I'm, I'm trying to read during this month. Wish me luck. I, I have read as, man, as many books before, but I'm not very good at sticking to my TBRs because I'm a mood reader. So, but luckily these prompts are um, like, like, so, like they, they apply to many different books, so I can I can uh, switch switch books I want to read if I if I need to read something else. So uh, wish me luck, and I will I will be updating you uh, mid June on my mid month month wrap up, and at the end of June, um, and then we'll see how I did. And uh, basically, if if you're in one of the teams. May the best team win. I mean, that's obviously Team Dionysus, but give us um, give us a run for our money. And if you're not in the team, join the fun anyway. Come come join uh, join us on Shelf Space Discord. I'll be leaving a link down below, and also link to the recommendations, so so you can see see what kind of books might might fit into these prompts. Or, or you're welcome to pick up something from my my uh, list of prompts. But yeah, that's my <laughs> ambitious June TBR. Happy reading and uh, see you tomorrow on a new video. Okay, bye.